Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So today we have the best case scenario for the Democrats in the year 2020. Obviously, they will be going against the incumbent president, Donald Trump, and it's going to be pretty much a very hotly contested election, to say the least. And it's not going to be a blowout for either candidate just based off how partisan voters have gotten. But in a case where the Democrats had everything in their favor, a weakened GOP and a very unpopular Donald Trump, we're going to see how the best case scenario for the Democratic Party. So I'm going to start this off how I did my best case scenario for Donald Trump video, where I just pretty much gave all the Democratic states from 2016 back to the Democrats, or like I did with the Republicans, all the Republican states back to the Republicans. So um, they would pretty much win. I mean, the Democrats would have to win, I mean, every state that they carried in 2016, and they would carry um, up in Maine, actually not that electoral vote, not just yet, but um, they would carry every state that they carried in 2016, and then they would go on to... I mean, one another other states. So obviously they would target swing states like the Rust Belt and the North Carolina, Georgia, Arizona, Florida, Ohio, Iowa. But um, obviously, if we have an extremely unpopular president, then things probably aren't going to be in his favor. Um, but he'll hold on to a number of states. He won't win Utah. I mean, he will win Utah, but the Democrats won't win pretty much a number of these states. They could win one electoral vote in Nebraska. I'll leave that one as a toss up. But they're, they're probably not going to win Kansas, even in their best-case scenario. I really don't see that going for them. It is possible in 2024, but this, again, isn't 2024. He's um, pretty much all the safe states, and that gives Donald Trump 153 electoral votes compared to the Democrats already at 232, obviously all the states Hillary Clinton carried. So first things first, they would need to win back the Rust Belt, which is very easy for them to do. I mean, they'll probably do it in 2020 regardless. Um, but as of right now, I see the Rust Belt going back to the Democrats in their best case scenario. They'd also hold on to that one electoral vote in Maine, putting them at 279 electoral votes. So where can they expand their lead? They would carry Florida. I mean, after everything that's happened down in Florida, it looks very, mu very likely that the Democrats are probably going to hold the Senate seat, win the governor election, and then probably carry it in 2020. But again, midterm elections aren't always indications of regular election years, as what we saw in 2010 did not correlate with what we saw in 2012. But... 308 electoral votes for the Democrat, 153 for President Trump. Now, for the Democrats, in their best-case scenario, they would win back Ohio and Iowa. I mean, it'd be pretty easy for them to do so. They just need the right candidate to win back these rural, white-working-class voters. And Donald Trump definitely did that extremely well, but Barack Obama also did extremely well. So Iowa is not safe red. It's not safe blue either. It's probably leaning red as of right now because there is no Obama-type candidate. But if they get an Obama type candidate, it will probably be either toss up or lean blue. And same thing goes for Ohio. Now we're going to go over to states like North Carolina. North Carolina could go to the Democrats in their best case scenario. But I really don't see Donald Trump losing Missouri, even in the Democrats' best case scenario. I really think that it will stay with the GOP. But Georgia, another state that I see going to the Democrats in their best case scenario. I mean, they only lost it by 5%. And over in Nebraska, they lost this district by less than 4%. So. Very, very competitive in 2020. If Trump is negatively approved and everything's against him, the, he'll, they'll probably carry the states. I mean, Ohio and Iowa went more red in, than Georgia and Arizona, and Iowa went more red than Texas. So these are all surprising numbers, and it's very different than what we normally see. In Arizona, the last state called um, would give the Democrats 375 electoral votes in their best-case scenario over Donald Trump's 163. Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment down suggestions below, and I'll see you all tomorrow.